Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another cooking video. It's a, it was my go-to post-gym, um, like healthy quick dinner. However, with everything going on in the world, the gym is not a possibility right now. So it's just like a, something you can make, I guess, in quarantine that's healthy and yeah. I've been doing my home workouts, which is all I've kind of been able to do right now because I was so self-isolating for the past two weeks because I had a bit of a cough and lost my sense of like taste and smell, but I didn't have anything else. Um, so I don't know if I had it, but because my grandma lives with us, I thought it would just be safer and better for me to isolate for a while. And I'm finally feeling better and ready to go down and be with my family and do some different things. Um, but if you try this recipe, then definitely take pictures and send it to me. And I'd love to see how it turns out because it was really delicious. It was just some like salmon with roasted veggies and a tomato, cucumber and onion salad, which is my, my favorite thing to make. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are all staying sane and keeping busy in this time. Um, I know it's difficult, but it's just something that we have to do to get back to normality quicker, um, which I'm trying to stay positive and optimistic about. Um, so yeah, just finding things to do. If you have any suggestions, then leave them down below. And if I have anything, then I'll be sure to make a video if that's something you'd like to see, like what I've been doing, my workouts, stuff I've been watching and yeah remember to comment like and subscribe and without further ado let's get right into the video okay so what you're going to need is some salmon fillets lemon slices potatoes which is optional like if you want to make a keto you can just leave the potatoes out some courgette slices cherry tomatoes cucumbers red onions quinoa which i've basically got this merchant quinoa which is really easy you can just put it in the microwave or stir fry it and it's done in like two minutes but you can also make and like boil your own quinoa and these broccoli florets which from costco so they're already cut up and then some garlic granules crushed chilies salt and pepper and i have some garlic like paste which is just defrosting in the microwave and yeah I'm gonna start off by seasoning the salmon, which we're just gonna put some garlic granules, chili flakes, salt, pepper, and some of the garlic paste. And then we're gonna to top it off with the lemon slices before we put it in the oven. Okay, so to start off, we're just gonna season the salmon fillets with some salt, pepper, So this is basically the salmon ready to put in the oven. For the courgettes, I've just put them in a oven tray with some garlic powder, pepper, I'm just putting some salt, um, and a little bit of like olive oil spray. The salmon is ready to put in the oven, and the broccoli is parboiling, so I'm boiling it for about three minutes. So I forgot to say, I also added the potatoes to parboil too. 
So I'm just going to let this boil for another two to three minutes and then transfer it to the plate, the plate the oven dish um, with some cherry tomatoes. So I have the oven preheated to 190 for both of them. Um, and the salmon will only take about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so for the dressing, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of oh, actually, one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. basically just mix that together and then you're going to add it to the red onions which are the tomatoes and the and it's going to be like a light little salad that's the same. So I just added a tiny bit of lemon juice to the salad, just to give it that extra part. Okay, so the last thing to do is to cook the quinoa. I've just put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan. Okay, so now that that's all broken up, I'm just going to season with some salt and pepper again. the cherry tomatoes. Just put the blueberry kind of it together. So not the word, what word I'm sure. Basically saute them together. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. And that is basically it. I'm just gonna let it saute for another couple minutes. But that's literally how easy that quinoa is. You could even microwave it, but because I wanted to add the tomatoes and stuff, I think it would just be easier to saute it. And the vegetables are not almost done, but halfway through, as is the sun. Which is looking really good. So this is the final plate up. We have the quinoa, the cherry tomatoes, the salmon, the broccoli and courgettes, and the little side salad, the cucumber, tomato and onions. It's a lot of cherry tomatoes, but they're delicious. And how was it? Yummy, yummy. Absolutely lovely, the textures, the salad, oh, the tomatoes, everything really nice. Thank, Thank you. you. How was it, Ragni? Really nice. Yay. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Ragni never eats broccoli, but I have finally got her to she, eat her greens. She gave me some of her tomatoes. <laughs> there are a lot of tomatoes, but it's still so good. I didn't take any potatoes. Make it a little bit more keto. Oh, Dalima thinks that the quinoa is this Indian tree called lapsi, which she likes to say. Huh? Why not? Salad and lapsi. Very, very nice. Thank you. Mum was in for seconds with the salad. I still haven't finished and I'm full.